This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into this story, okay? We got Jim Jones. First of all, him and Fat Joe are saying that rappers have the most dangerous job. Well, you're, you have a bigger target on your back when you are a entertainer. But here's the problem. The rappers you see getting into problems and all this other stuff, they're all gang affiliated. Being a gangster and in a gang is always going to be problems. So don't let them fool you to saying rappers are under attack. No, they're not. Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole have no problems. Chance the Rapper has no problems. Honestly, Meek Mill only had problems because he had previous issues before rap when he was trying to be gangster, okay? And uh, honestly, the cops took advantage of him in that situation. And finally, he was able to get justice recently. But Jim Jones has always affiliated himself with the Bloods. Um, who, who else are we talking about here? Casanova affiliated himself. Takashi affiliated himself with uh, certain gangs. Then you got just uh, YG affiliates himself with the Bloods. NBA young boy has his gang. Then you got Chicago guys. They got a million different gangs there. You know, it's like, it's crazy. Okay. It's gang stuff. Okay. It's not rappers. If you're just a rapper and you, and you know, to isolate yourself from, from crimes, you're okay. 50 cent knew to change things up immediately. When you got in the rapping, he said, I can't give money directly to my friends. Because then I'm, I could be implicated in some crime they do with that money afterwards, okay? Um, Jim Jones, okay? This is a funny situation. So I saw him dissing Max B yesterday. He dropped his uh, deluxe album, and he was promoting that. And in that, he, he went back in on Max B. He just got cool with French Montana again, who French Montana would be where he's at without Max B. And... Now Jim Jones is dissing Max B again. When he made peace, he let it go. He said, you know, I wish him to come home. We probably can't work together anymore, but, you know, I wish him the best. Well, now it's FM again because he has to sell something, right? Funny. But he could forgive uh, True Life, who used to be his bodyguard. Jojo Capone, who is a well-respected person in Chicago, hooked True Life up with Jim Jones. They had a fallout because Jim Jones wasn't a man of his word. Warren Jojo, Jojo found out for himself later that Jim Jones and it wasn't all, you know, didn't keep his word all the time. Listen, man, Jim Jones is spooky right now. Uh, he wants to do a versus battle with French Montana now. He was in all these wiretaps before nothing happened, but yet Casanova was brought up. He gets arrested. It's looking spooky. I can't put anything on another man without evidence or anything, but it just looks funny. I mean, he's on a wiretap talking about that Takashi got to get violated. To me, that sounds like a straight up, you know, direction. I I can't make this. I'm not making this up. This is a, this is like public court records. You know, that's it. You know, I'm just looking at that. I'm like, geez. He got off squeaky clean. He's just like, he's like bipolar. Like, I like a lot about Jim Jones. He's probably one of the better rappers in Dipset right now. Uh, I like his hustle. But some, he's just wish-washy with how he feels about things. You know, he's not consistent. And that makes me think that he's not honest with himself and who he is. You know, like someone that's honest with himself and who they are. You can see them, their their opinions evolve, and they're usually pretty consistent with their values and morals. Um, it's interesting. It's interesting. And then, you know, he's cool with Jay-Z. He's made a lot of different, you know, he's made up a lot of things. He signed a Rock Nation, and they're doing nothing for you. Jay-Z's winning, man. Anyone he's had issues with, they're signed to him now. <laughs> it's crazy, except for Nas. Nas... Nas got his own bag. Nas is investing with, uh, he has great partners at Queensbridge Investments. He's investing a lot of money. NBA young boy gets on stage in Florida. He does a sold out show, a huge show. You can look up, look it up on uh, Instagram. But he performs End of Story by Quando Rondo. 
this is what I'm hearing. This I kind of heard some of it. It sounded like it. Perform allegedly performs end of story by Quando Rondo going at King Von. Crazy man. You got to be kidding me. Like these guys really want to keep this going. When a man already lost his life. Swiss Beats weighs in on Mace versus Cameron. Uh, he says that Cameron would probably wash Mace, but you don't know. It depends on the songs they play. They both have a lot of features. They both have, I don't know, Mace has a lot of songs. He has like hit songs with Brandy, Notorious B.I.G. I mean, he has his own songs. He, I think he could pull an easy 20 of hits, and Cameron could pull an easy 20 hits. It's just who you're going to gravitate more towards, you know, like. Did you grow up in both eras? Like, or did you experience both eras? Or did you mostly just get the Dipset era? It depends which your allegiance is with, I think. I think it would just be kind of cool because they don't really like each other that much. They like each other, but they don't like each other. So just the little tension there would be cool because, like, it's not serious tension. It's just, like, you know, it's, it's whatever tension. But it, it, that would be a good versus. And if Swiss is smart... He'll do that versus because he needs to keep the versus hot because it gets boring fast. What are we getting next? Ashanti and someone else. Is that what we're getting next? It's is it Ashanti and uh, Keisha Cole? Is that what's going on? Like boring, you know? Like next. <laughs> um, oh, that's what I was going to talk about. Anyways, I put it in there. Uh, I was going to talk about something else, but I forget. I saw an interview with Chris Gotti on Instagram said that 50 Cent paid her got a hundred thousand for beats. He wanted to be a part of Murder Inc. Maybe at one time. I don't know. I don't think he paid a hundred thousand for beats, but maybe he did. I wouldn't put that. Maybe it's a true story. Maybe he did want to be part of Murder Inc. at one time. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is things went left real quick. <laughs> That's all I know. Uh, anyways, guys. It's Jordan Tower with JT News. I hope you guys have a great day today. Make sure you stay positive, stay focused, and keep moving forward. Do not let anybody hold you back. Do not let any negative energy around you hold you back. Just move past it. Move to a better situation. I often see a lot of things that bother me, like in my community and this. You know, like, I don't like the HOA I'm a part of. But you know what? You just got to level up later and just move beyond an HOA. It seems like it's hard. I mean, I'm so sorry to go on a rant about this, but it's like it seems like it's hard to get an HOA, a homeowners association. You never want to be a part of that. I I, I got into that because it was part of the house I wanted to get. But, you know, it's like like you got these people that are just your neighbors on the board making decisions and spending your money. <laughs> I want to put a garden in over here. You know, we're going to spend 10000 on that. So. We're going to assess you, you know, 400 extra dollars this year. You know, it's like, yo, come on, man. You know, like, I, and these people are no, they don't know how to balance money and anything. These are people that are my neighbors, you know. That, that doesn't mean they're super successful at with money. They could be living check to check. I don't know them. I do not like living in nature way, as you could tell. <laughs> uh in my fu in the future, I'll change that, but it's fine for now. I just don't let it bother me. You can't let things like that bother you. Uh, I have nosy neighbors that you know, like we talked about this before, and they you know they try to ruin my day. It's weird, man. It's like high school. These people were like 10, 10, 15, some 20, 30 years older than me that live here. You know, I'm I'm thirty seven, and these people are like forty seven. Some are my age, some are around my age, like around you know thirty eight, forty. Uh, there's like three houses like that, but most of these people are ten years older than me, twenty years older than me, and they act like they're in high school. They're they're way less mature than me. Mind your business, man. <laughs> Mind your business. Anyways, guys. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. I'll check you guys in the next one. <sighs> Keep that energy up for the day. It's Sunday, so you know, make sure you get your rest in today and everything. I'm gonna do this. Well, I think I'm gonna do the same. We'll see. But uh, I'll come up with some more news in the morning. I just want to close out the night and so you got a video for the morning as well if you're just waking up. It's Jordan Tower with JT News. Peace. <laughs>